boys and girls. Um, this lesson is in 4.8. We do have to learn how to, we have to understand units in the metric system and in the, and in the customary system. So um, here is our smart notebook lesson on our customary system for capacity, okay? So you will be able to um, convert a customary units of capacity. That's gonna be a later lesson. And you'll be able to measure liquid volume. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this lesson. So to measure liquid, you can use a gallon. So that looks like a gallon of milk. We, these are our units. We use a quart, okay? So that's a container, a pint. It's like your milk pint at school. Also a can of Coke is about a pint and a cup. And we say to think of those styrofoam cups, okay? So, also something that's a quarter, those really small, and we have a lot of them, are those really small um, sanitizer wipes. So, those smaller ones, not the bigger ones, but the smaller ones are about a quart. Okay? Gallons measures large amounts of things. For example, if I wanted to use gallons, it would be for a fish tank because that holds lots of water. Um, it would be a swimming pool. Swimming pool has lots of water in it, so we would use the largest unit. Okay. And if you can't see that well, I can't hardly either. There, maybe that's a little bit better. Um, large sinks, okay, even this sink in here holds three to four gallons of water. I know we don't think of that, but sinks do, okay, and, oh, there was nothing there. There's the three. Oh, that was, those are the three things that we had for examples for gallons, so using the gallon unit. Quartz measures bigger medium amounts such as a bucket, okay, so you'd want to use a quart for a bucket, for sure. Smaller than a gallon, but it's still quite a bit. Um, a large cooking pot. And a pitcher. So those are th good things to do um, with quarts. Pints. You have milk. Okay, you can measure milk in pints. We do cups and pints a lot of times. Orange juice, okay, and, ooh, blood, okay. <laughs> we measure our blood in our bodies, and when they take it out of us for different things or we donate it, they take it out in pints, okay, or they, um, they measure it in pints, okay. Cups is a small, uh, measure small amounts such as soup. A bowl of soup would be a cup. You would use, me you'd measure with cups. Yogurt, and even things such as coffee. Okay, we'll erase the box to see what unit of measure you could use for the object. So I would like for you to pause the video and try to think about there's a glass, a barrel, a teapot, an oil can, there's a picture of a big oil can, a bottle, hopefully you can see that bottle, and a jar. And we're going to come back and talk about each one of them. Okay, welcome back. A glass, hopefully you notice that's a small amount. So we would think maybe a cup. So if you said cup, you've got that right. A barrel is really big. Think about if you would, ever went to a rodeo, those big barrels of water. So I would say that's a, heat, a large amount, so maybe gallons. A teapot. Now a teapot could possibly be a quart or a pint, but even a quart, depending on the size of the teapot, this one doesn't look that big, I would say either one. And I definitely go down like they did in pints. This big, huge oil can. Now, these are huge. They're like these huge dumpsters. They look like huge dumpsters, and some people do use them for that after they've been thrown out or discarded. Gallons for sure. A bottle could be pints or cups, depending on the size of the bottle. 
This one's kind of skinny, so they said cups. And a jar, it looks kind of like a big jar, a huge jar, maybe um, quartz or pints. Oops. And they said quartz. So I could see that depending on that size, it's, it's pretty close. So that's what you're going to be working on and go back through this to make sure that you're understanding all of those. And later on, we'll get into um, Mr. G, but I'm going to just kind of show it to you, okay? G represents a gallon, Q represents a quart, P represents a pint, and C represents a cup. And I know that you have talked about this in third grade because everyone comes in telling me a story, um, the story. But anyways, here's the big G, and inside of the big gallon are four quarts because there's four quarts in a gallon. Do you see the Qs? And so inside the, the big G is those four quarts, and inside those quarts are two pints. So then inside the gallon, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pints. And then inside each pint are two cups. So then in one quart, you have four cups. In one pint, you have two cups. And we'll talk about later more on how to read that again. But this is something that will help you and you can kind of see that cups are smaller than pints and pints are smaller than quarts and quarts are smaller than gallons too.